so what I'd like to do, Ryan, is make some leads for these two testers right here, similar to this, this Atlas SCR tester. This works well for throwing components in, but every now and then I want to clip to something, and I may like these little clips. And then I don't know how well these will work on large electrolytics, but I would like this uh, larger alligator clip for that and do a few ESR comparisons with our E5000, which you can, you notice these are pretty short too, which are gonna be difficult. So we've got some new leads coming and we'll do a, a four wire upgrade on that. So what I'd like to do is these two, I'll probably cut down about that length and then this larger alligator clip, I'll make a little bit longer. And then we'll have to see, I probably like to tin the ends so we don't have trouble inserting them because they won't stay in there permanently. If I wanted to do permanent, I would actually solder them to those three pads right there. That's to press components down, but in this housing, you can't actually do that. But I have seen where people have soldered leads right to that. That is an option. I just really don't want them. We may even do that in the future, but for now, I just want some leads that can go in either one of these. Alright, so these two small ones I'll do about this length, roughly. So let's go to about, let's see here. Strip that back a little bit. And we probably will tin that. Yeah. We'll probably tin it. I may even flatten it a little and then tin it. Okay, so let me get the other side. And what? We'll make that exactly the same length. All right, these are pretty handy when you need to. You'll see they're actually the same as this. These are just a little better better quality surprisingly because this was an expensive piece of equipment I think it was close to a hundred or so um, this will come in handy though and then these I would like much longer All right, now let's tin them. Okay, one thing that we found out is it was easier if we strip these a little bit long, flatten them, tin them, and then trim it down afterwards. They were they were becoming too thick the other way. All right, then I'll just trim it down, slight angle. So now it's nice and short, it's tin, it just has a little slight angle and it can go in here fairly easily. It's not too thick, before it was too thick. Let's see what this little tester thinks about about this, right? All right, let's see what it comes up with. Voltage loss 0.6, capacitance 1839, it's a 2000 microfarad, so that's pretty close. ESR 0.12. Alright, let's compare it to this one. Alright, let's see what we got going on here.
you lost 0 0.3, 1863, and so it's, it's pretty similar. Um, so I'll be curious once we can make this work, what we'll find. So that's good to know. If they're anywhere close to this, then that'll be acceptable for what we're going to use it for.